Hello, I'm Trevor Boria. We're gonna do a Vulcan air conditioner today. But I don't live on Vulcan. So I moved to Vulcan and I built a bunch of sh stuff. We're gonna look at it. We've got two air conditioners. We're not gonna use the rad. I've built this room. I filled it with Vulcan atmosphere. No, I didn't. We've got 91 kilopascals in there at 376 degrees Celsius of filtered carbon dioxide. Because we're going to cool it down. I'm hoping it's going to be close to 50 kilopascals and 30 degrees Celsius. Hopefully. Let's get started, man. Big old tank of carbon dioxide. 143 degrees. I filtered it at night, obviously, into this tank, out of the atmosphere. We don't care about that. I mean, we do, but 10 megapascals or 10,000 kilopascals. I think. Yeah. Tank connector. Pipe. I assume we'll fast forward the pipe. Yeah. And then we'll show it to you. Valve. Tank. Meter. And now, you should have something that looks like this. Oh yeah. No, this is gonna be janky. It's gonna be good. You'll like it. Hang on. More pipe. Huh. Vent. Two. Two vent. Back pressure regulator. Drain. Meter. Active vent. Cable! I know nobody likes when a cable goes through a pipe, but this is just for educational purposes. That's not a back pressure regulator. That is a regular pressure regulator. It will not work with a regular pressure regulator. It has to be back pressure. All right? Cool. Now that you have the correct pressure regulator in there, it should look something like this. Again, I cannot stress enough how much that needs to be a back pressure regulator. Don't try and use a valve either. I know that somebody's going to tell me I can just use a one-way valve. No, you can't. Now we're going to set our back pressure regulator to 8,000. No, you know what? 6,000. Don't forget to turn it on. The active vent will be set inward and turned on. We're just going to let that settle and see where it wants to sit. 12? I guess 12 is fine, right? 12 megapascals? I don't know. I don't know that that number really matters. We just need to keep pressure in that area of the pipe. We're going to turn this on. 20? No, we're going to lower that. Minus 50. What we're doing here is using the atmosphere of Vulcan to actually cool that tank of carbon dioxide with an open loop coolant system. Because... The atmosphere, yeah, it's half volatile, but it's also half carbon dioxide and pollution. That's three halves, just in case you're... Carbon dioxide's an awesome conductor of temperature, and pollution is not as good, but still, that's basically a natural coolant, right? And then half volatile, we don't care about. So this air conditioner is going to cool that loop, and that air conditioner will cool our room when we turn it on. But I was going to say we have to wait for our coolant loop to drop the temperature. It's already down to 129. I mean, it'll fluctuate during the day for sure. I think we turn that other air conditioner on and see what it's going to do. Temperature is dropping. I mean, we knew it would. It's how far it's going to drop that it really matters. Um, I know that minus 50 for carbon dioxide would cause it to turn to condensation. We don't have a drain on this loop because I don't think that that coolant will ever get down to minus 50. I mean, if it does, it'll freeze and explode and that'll be funny too. Okay, well that drops in temperature. You wanna see some other stuff I've built? It's not, it's not good. I've spent a lot of time mining the ground underneath my base because I wanted it to look sort of like an oil rig, but in lava. And I think we're there, you know? I really think that we got it. I've built a forge. It's not really a forge. It's a furnace. It's in a vacuum. I feel like the furnace works better in a vacuum. I can't prove that. I mean, I guess I could. I could build a whole rig, but I mean, this is my truth, man. I did try furnacing just with Vulcan atmosphere and it's finicky. So I abandoned that. I went back to fuel. Let's go look at the fuel. Pretty standard setup. Obviously, we're just mixing gases. Uh, I'm using oxygen from our greenhouse, which is going to be rebuilt. And this week, we'll have a video about making water and building a greenhouse. 
but this one's kind of trash, so we're gonna redo it. And where are we getting the carbon dioxide to grow the plants from? Well, we'd be getting that from the atmosphere. God, these doors are slow. Let's go. This is atmospheric rendering. Now, it's a little janky. We're gonna have a video about it. Basically, we have atmosphere being sucked in by that vent into this tank, going through this regulator, into this AC unit, to that tank, and then being filtered. It's the same coolantless AC system we just built. However, I'm using all this logic to run it right now, and it doesn't need that. It's overcomplicated for no reason. So we're gonna work that out and then have a video about it. Cause I'm trying to make the simplest systems I can. We're gonna go back over to our AC now, but that's the game, right? Building a system you like. I just wanna build simple systems to get people started places or whatever. I don't know. I just like making videos, man. 79 degrees, that's not bad. I mean, we're not near that 30 that I want, but we're getting there. We're pretty close to the 51 kilopascals. We're gonna turn our regulator back on. That's not bad, the coolant's only 134. So that's what I've been doing the past two weeks, learning how to live on Vulcan. 51 and 31, that's all right. You grow potatoes and not. I'm just gonna keep an eye on this while the sun comes up. I mean, it's not really a sun, it's kind of a swirling white hole. I don't know, black hole? Is that a black hole? But it gives off light. Radiation. 677 degrees and it held at 31. I call this a win, right? We did her. So that's the easiest air conditioner setup I could make for Vulcan. Took me two weeks because I don't live here. I had to learn. Um, we've got more videos coming out. I don't know. You let me know in the comments if you want water, fuel, greenhouse next. And we'll get that out first. Yeah, no, power's easy. So it's the same solar setup I always do, except I've got solar panels oriented in two different directions because of the irregular path of the sun. And then for at night, because the nighttime seems to be a little funky, I did wind as well. And it's on its own regulator. So I don't blow up the circuit. That was easy. That was a quick video. I'm not gonna do a whole video on power. It's not, not that difficult, I don't think. Thank you for watching my video. You have a good day, man. Not all gamers are pro.